Hi guys, Tarko here. Let's just continue with the series of the most common challenges. And this is also by far <laughs> one of the top five uh, challenges that a struggling trader is facing. And that is combining too many indicators and ignoring price. Uh, when I was a struggling trader, all of my clients that is struggling trader, it just seems to think that it's impossible to trade without tons of indicators on your charts. Almost every client that starts trading with us, they send me a screenshot of their charts and I usually joke with them and say, you know what, I get my anxiety attack when I see your charts, make sure you delete everything and resend it back to me naked. Naked charts, like no indicators, no nothing, okay? And the reason for it is like, when you are a struggling trader, it's like, why do people use indicators? Let me just start there because it's so simple because I was a member of a, 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 a trading service once and that was back in 2007. These guys were experts on combining indicators. You know, they used EMA 200 as their long term and then EMA 21 with 55, you know, when 21 was crossing 55 and the price comes down to 55, there was some strategy there and they used also EMA 5, that was the, the, the quicker one and then SMA, uh, simple moving average seven, I think and they used Bollinger Bands and the MACD was, you know, they were slowing down things on MACD and they was like, wow, this looks like this is super fancy and everything. You know what? I was there for so many years. I did zero money, zero. Okay. Uh, I didn't even see the charts. And, and this is the thing, you know, it's if you use indicators, at least if you need to do it, I would say indicators, regardless of which one you use, every single one of them are just clutter. Okay, whichever pattern you are trading, I can show it to you how to use that without indicators. Okay, so, uh, and this is, this is the thing, you need to read price. Read price takes time. You know, to see an EMA crossover, that takes you five seconds to understand. And that's why you fool your brain, you trick your brain that, you know what, this is working, this is easy, I can see crossovers, I see those MACDs, you know, RSI, whatever that might be you are using uh, in a certain way, that's simple. The thing is that if you don't understand the logic behind price, there is no indicator in the world that will save your money. Okay, and there are times when you use like RSI, you say, oh, well, you know, this is it, you know, and then you have a losing streak and you say someone t tells you about, you know, EMA crossover. And now that's become the big hit until you have a losing streak. And then, you know, use MACD and, you know, if I only use this, if I only had that, if I only did that and you just, you know, I tried everything. There is like no indicator out there that I haven't tried. Okay, and none of them worked. And then after eight years, uh, I had two options, you know, quit or focus. And I focused on price and I read price like no one else in the market. I'm not bragging or anything. It's just like I put my da time down to reading price. So whatever pattern you are trading, I can relate it to why that's happening based on advanced market flow, how price moving, the language of the market and the way I, I read price. So make yourself a favor. Don't put too many uh, you know, faith in indicators. If you use them for some reason, use it. Uh, you don't need it. Uh, even whatever you are trading, I can justify that within the patterns I'm trading and how the market moves. So hope that makes sense. And uh, until next time, stay safe and take care. Cheers.